Are you looking to make custom collisions for your Kitbash 3D assets that you brought into Unreal Engine from Cargo? Then follow along and I'll show you how to do just that. Hello, welcome back. We're here inside of my demo map for the game Piggy Pop that I'm working on for fun. And now the last thing we did was brought in a few Kitbash assets from Cargo. We first brought them into Unreal Engine and then we migrated them into our Unreal for Fortnite engine and tested them out in the game. And we quickly realized that we went right through them. We did not do any collisions and I wanted to keep the collision workflow as a separate video. Let's do the work on this asset right here. I'm gonna hit end. You've been logged out. I opened this up um, this morning. I was working on it last night and I just put my computer to sleep. I didn't shut anything down. You will notice if that happens to you, you will get logged out. You're gonna have to click log in, at which point it will ask if you can connect your account. I'll pull that over, it's on my other monitor. It'll ask you something like this, Unreal for Fortnite, can you re-log in, can we connect? Yes, you can, allow, and then it will continue doing its thing here, and our map will be available momentarily. And then you'll see now in the bottom, revision control is on, can check in changes. Uh, we're disconnected from our session, but we dropped this to the floor using end here. And the reason it popped up that error message when I hit end is because that was the first time I tried to do anything to the map. Let's hit control B, browse to this asset, and we're going to double click it. And we have this particular type of blueprint prop. Now in here, I'm gonna find the static mesh. It's in our cargo geometry folder. Double click on the static mesh. And here we are with some sunset lighting. And I am going to click on collision and there is no collisions currently here. You wanna to go to show uh, and we have collisions. There's no collisions, simple collisions, nothing is going on, complex collisions, oops. Uh, there we go. So we do have a complex collision, but we don't want to use that for the game. We want to use a simple collision. I'm going to go back to our collision button and add a box, add a box simplified collision. Now it's going to the bounds, if we go above, it's going to the bounds of the entire mesh. I don't want that. I'm going to click on the actual mesh, hit spacebar a couple times, go to the scale, scale this down here and scale this down here. So now our box is pretty much very close to uh, wrapping around. Okay, I'll move that out a bit and we need to move this. I'd say that is very close to, to being flush. Maybe if we go to two and move it one more over, maybe even one, one pixel. I'm pretty happy with that. We have the base set up here. I want to actually add the collisions to these poles that are coming out the side here. Maybe they want to use the grappling hook on those. So I can combine multiple simple shapes here and I'm going to use a capsule. Add capsule. We don't want it to be that size or in that position. I'm going to select it and move it up. And turn on snappings already on, move it down to 90, scale it right down. And there's no magic way to do this. This is just creating collisions. And maybe this one, I want to have a little bit bigger, right? So there's a little bit more of a hitbox for the player to use the grappling hook with. All right, I'm happy with that one. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna control C, control V, and move it over. We've made a duplicate, rotate that one, put that onto this one over here. Control C, control V, moving that on the other side. And I'm gonna grab this one, control C, control V, and we're gonna move that right here. And just double check that these are 
roughly where I want them to be. Now save. And now I am going to grab this one here. Browse to the static mesh. This is our, our tower D. Double click. We're back into the sunset outliner here, the static mesh editor. I'm going to do this faster. Collision, add box collision. It's too big, as we know. I'll turn on snapping at 0.1 with the scale. This one's going to be a little bit more loose because I'm not going to go in and define all of those side points. But I do want to make sure that it covers the top. But I want it to be accurate. So it's going to cover that top. And then we're going to add another box, Control C, Control V, and hit spacebar, move that up here, scale it down, and position it right here. Now we could put a little collision here. Let's grab a little sphere capsule. And it's gigantic. Let's scale it right down. And move it up. Scale it down some more. Move it over here. This is going on our rock. Okay. I do want to add those little capsule tubes. Add a capsule. Rotate it, scale it way down. We're going to bring it up. I might even be able to do two at once here. Let's see if they line up properly. It doesn't look like they're identical on either one, but that's okay. We can just rotate it a little bit. And then we're kind of covering them both here. This is not meant for the player to be interacting with that much anyways. Save that. Minimize. And now we have these two buildings set up with collisions. We can show our collisions. We can verify those are all very nice and tight. And these ones are working here. And we have the ones that we just put on. Launch the session. We're going to save the changes. Play the current level. We'll now launch Fortnite. We'll initialize Fortnite. All right, here we go. I've got a few loadouts set up here. I'm going to select one, class one. We're back in Piggy Pop. Just make sure. Yes, we can pop the pigs. Great. Grappling hook. Testing out our new building collisions. Oh, looks like it works. And there's the little one down there, and yep. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way the collisions worked on this. Let's go test out the top of the roof. All right, and you can see it might need to be a little tighter. Looks like we're kind of floating on the, the platform a bit. Go down here. Let's see if that we're not blocked by those rocks. This is the rock that was, you know, big enough. I needed to add a collision. And you could add on the little rocks if you wanted to. All right, that does it for this video on setting up collisions with your Kitbash assets brought into UEFN from Cargo. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.